I pray that y'all are blessed today in Jesus name and that you're doing what God has called you to do hallelujah to the Lamb of God we got to tell people the truth hallelujah to the Lamb of God and there's going to be persecution that's going to come when you tell the truth people are going to get upset with you people are going to get angry at you they're going to count you as an enemy hallelujah to the Lamb of God but if we love people we have to tell them the truth because it's the truth that sets them free that's what Jesus told us he says that you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free hallelujah to the Lamb of God and the truth is that mankind is under judgment hallelujah to the Lamb of God that they abide under God's wrath and if they don't repent they're going to hell and when you tell people that they need to get right with God and you talk to them about their soul, people are going to get angry at you. You are going to suffer reproach because you choose to walk in obedience to the Lord. You're going to suffer reproach because you choose to live godly in Christ. You're going to suffer reproach because, because, you're going, because you choose to walk in righteousness hallelujah to the Lamb of God and when you walk in obedience to the Lord you're going to have a love for people hallelujah to the Lamb of God and you're going to understand that most people that you talk to they are on their way to hell and we have to tell them the truth and it's going to make them angry it's going to make them upset like when Paul the Apostle confronted the Galatian church he told them that they was bewitched he said that, that you have fallen from grace hallelujah to the Lamb of God and they got upset with Paul and they counted Paul as an enemy they was angry at him because Paul was confronting their rebellion he was exposing the darkness and my friend when you expose the darkness it's like taking a hammer to the pinky toe people get angry they get upset hallelujah to the Lamb of God in the book of Galatians Paul Apostle said have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth hallelujah to the Lamb of God you're going to suffer reproach from people because you tell them the truth hallelujah they're going to count you as an enemy and I don't want you to get this wrong idea that when you out there and you talking to people that people is just going to love you and like you. Jesus said in John chapter 15, he said that the world would hate us because we walk with him. The world would hate us because we stand for the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And the reason why that they're going to hate us is because we're going to confront them in their rebellion. We're going to confront them with the serious issues of their soul. And the serious issue is sin and them needing to turn to the Lord and get right with Jesus. And they're not going to like it. They're going to get upset. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The Bible says that the wounds from a friend can be trusted. But an enemy multiplies kisses. So a friend is going to tell you the truth even if you don't want to hear the truth, even if it makes you angry because a real friend, he loves you, he cares about you. He's not concerned about your feelings and you getting mad. If he sees you doing things that will damn your soul to hell, he's going to confront you with these issues. And, and he's not concerned about if you get mad or not because he really truly loves you. But the Bible says the kisses of an enemy, they're deceitful. An enemy, they multiply kisses. 
So they pat you on the back and they tell you, God loves you so much. Oh, He has a wonderful plan for you. And you see this a lot with many preachers. They tell people who are in rebellion that God loves you so much and has a wonderful plan for you. And God's wonderful plan for rebellious sinners is hellfire, my friends. God's wonderful plan for those who choose to live in rebellion towards the salvation of Jesus Christ is hellfire. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. An enemy multiplies kisses. They don't want to offend people. They don't want people to get angry at them. They don't want people to not like them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So they don't tell them the truth. And the truth is that people need to repent. The truth is that hell awaits all those who reject the salvation of God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And we need to confront people with the truth. If we love people, we are to love our neighbor like we love ourselves. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Do you want to go to hell, Christian? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Do you want to go to hell, Christian? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Because if you don't want to go to hell, you shouldn't want other people to go to hell. And you want to talk to them about their soul. You want to talk to them about the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And there's no way around the truth. The Bible says that the wrath of God abides on all those who don't believe. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God's wrath abides on people. And God's love is demonstrated through Jesus. If people want to abide in God's love, they must come to the Lord. And they must repent and believe. They must repent and be converted. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. But God needs preachers who's willing to tell people the truth and not pat them on their back with some sweet little message all the way to hell fire, making people think that they're okay with God. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The issues of the soul must be confronted. And the issue of the soul that's damning people to hell is sin. The issue of the soul that's damning people to hell is iniquity. The issue of the soul that's dragging people to destruction is rebellion. And the rebellion must be confronted. We must expose the darkness. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is how people get convicted. You have to tell them the truth, my friends. And when you tell people the truth, they're going to get mad at you. They're going to get angry at you. You're going to come under strong reproach sometimes. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. People are going to divide from you. Family members, friends that you was friends with would no longer want to be friends with you anymore. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Why? Because you are obedient to the Lord. And your obedience brings division because you choose to stand for God. You care about people's souls. You care about them and you don't want them to go to hell so you confront the issue. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And they get offended because the truth is offensive. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The truth is offensive when you are living in rebellion and you don't want to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And they get angry at you and they get mad. It brings division. Jesus said, I have not come to bring peace on earth, but I have come to bring division. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And what he's saying is that your choice to walk in obedience to stand for righteousness is going to divide you from certain people because people are going to want to do what they want to do. They're not going to want to come to the Lord and they're going to get angry at you because when you come around, your commitment to Christ is going to bring conviction to them. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Why? Because you're going to speak up. Because you're going to want to turn them away from their iniquities and they're not going to like it. They're going to get mad and you're going to suffer reproach because you trust in God. 
you believe in the Lord. You're committed to the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. This is what you signed up for when you became a Christian. Listen to what Paul the Apostle said right here in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 10. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. And we are to gain some encouragement from the Scripture. Hallelujah. It says, For to this end we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God, the Savior of all men, especially those who believe. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So this is Paul. And he's speaking to Timothy in a letter and he says for to this end we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God hallelujah to the Lamb of God so suffering reproach goes together with laboring for the Lord Jesus Christ hallelujah to the Lamb of God so when you labor for souls for the kingdom of God you're going to suffer reproach why because you're going to tell people the truth you're going to talk to them about sin. You're going to want to turn them away from their iniquities. You want to shine the light of truth in the darkness of sin. Hallelujah. In rebellion. And people are going to get mad. You're going to suffer reproach. Jesus said people are going to hate us. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So I encourage you today. Christian, don't get discouraged because people are getting upset with you and you're just trying to obey the Lord. This is what we signed up for. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We are to endure hardships like a good soldier in Jesus Christ. So, shake it off, Christian. Lift up your chin. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. You got work to do. For the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Be faithful to your call. Be obedient to the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Be willing to endure hardships for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because this is what you are called to do. Hallelujah. This is what you have signed up for. So be encouraged. Don't allow yourself to get down. Hallelujah. Rejection is part of the package deal. Of salvation. Be blessed in Jesus' mighty name.